75 hard. Day 5. Woke up around 5 something. Got the video. Was checking on the YouTube video. I'm going to spend time in the Word while things are loading. And, and beyond that. And then I'm going to pray. And then we'll get this walk in. Do you try to fix it first, or do you go into prayer? And it was pretty convicting. Look through Acts 1 today to see what we're going to talk about for Sunday school. Uh, when the disciples needed to make a decision, they prayed about it. And so my challenge to you Whenever you make decisions, do you pray about it? In the book of Joshua, we see how important it is to do so because Joshua did not pray to ask the will of the Lord and he was deceived by the Gibeonites, which turned out okay for Israel because of God's goodness, but it was a mistake and something that grieved God in that moment. So we should be praying for decisions and especially for big decisions because oftentimes when Jesus had a decision to make he would fast and he would pray for extended periods of time so church went really well the emphasis today was kind of on prayer you know when things go wrong do you try to fix it first or do you go into prayer do you prioritize prayer and try to not fit it into your day, but instead pray without ceasing throughout the day. And it was pretty convicting this morning when I was supposed to do my quiet time as well as my time where I, I mean, when I was supposed to read my Bible and pray after recording that one video you saw. I decided to spend an extra hour editing the video for the second day of the 75 part instead of waking up and immediately spending time with God and praying and talking about these things. I think that we should yearn a lot more than we do sometimes uh, to pray, to talk with Him, and sometimes practicality and even the mission goes over our love for him. He doesn't deserve that, so I want to do better. I can't let the 75 card or anything else get in the way of that. But there's ways to be successful in both. Alright, welcome to Clayton, Oklahoma. What's up? I thought there was three. There was. Oh. Oh. Josh, what We are on our last 45 minute workout today since I did not walk in the morning as I had originally planned. We are staying in the shade this time. Doing a bit more relaxed workouts today because it's Sunday. I just posted the first day of the 75 hard challenge on YouTube and already have two comments saying Tori is the best. So I'm pleased with that. That's really nice. I have eight more pages to read by the end of the day and I almost forgot about it. So that's not good. Uh, eight more pages. So once we complete this walk, I will see you later. I am recording this just about around 10 because I almost forgot to read. I'm going to be walking around and speaking out loud while I read because I'm sleepy and nodding off while trying to read. In order to win friends and influence people, you must learn how to become a good listener. That is what I got out of the eight pages that I got. 
that I got to read today. And to be a good listener, there's body posture, you know, sitting upright, feet towards the person, your body towards the person, eye contact, all of those things. And then there's asking questions and pulling things out of people that really show somebody that they're being cared for and listened to. And they talked about how they have several angry customers who they were mad about something with the business that the author was in. He had found that just listening to people's complaints, sometimes over a period of multiple different encounters, actually led to reconciliation with that individual to where they found out, hey, maybe they were wrong. You know, like uh, there was a misplaced bill. And after they had decided, okay, I hear you, you're frustrated. We're just going to cancel that payment because we maybe we got it wrong. He went back, he found out that he had misplaced the payment and sent an apology and paid it off. And now I know it doesn't work like that every time, but I think that sometimes when we're having conversations with people, we're thinking, we're thinking I need to get to the solution by the end of this conversation. But if we wait patiently, we make people feel heard, even if they're wrong, even if some of their mindsets are so skewed that perhaps along with many prayers, you can come to reconciliation with even the most difficult person by making sure that they felt heard. It doesn't mean you ever compromise on the scriptures. It doesn't mean that there are times to be direct. But sometimes the one barrier that we have in relation to really connecting with somebody is just that they don't think we're listening. So that gives me a lot of things to think about. I think I've gotten very lazy in trying to fix things quickly in conversation or being too strategic with conversation. And I could do much better with open-ended questions, body language, you know, more in focus that really sticks with the individual that's speaking. Good chapter. We made it through the day. I got to go to sleep. I'm sure maybe if you're going through this too, you're very, very tired. So uh, God, I believe in you.